Hello, everybody, and welcome back to an exciting episode of Skyrim. Exciting episode of Skyrim. I am back in Falstar with Bob the Battle Mage. Um, waiting really for Alduin. Drag and go away. But yeah, here I am. And Amber Creek. I have a quest. In that direction, man. That direction. Do you think we could do it? Sure. We just have to take out the back wall and expand the fields to the south. Getting more livestock would be great. Plus, Farina and Willard love playing with the ones we already have. And it's safe. I don't know who being a Willard here, but I'm on a mission. Beat the shit out of some shit. <laughs> so, this is probably going to be a pretty long series. I am probably going to go until I get to a point that I feel good at. I don't know why I keep on like trying to predict where I'm going to be going in this game. Yeah, this is the... the I'm just going to climb over everything and not take the road's path to, to anywhere. Oh look, a farm! This bit has gotten rather serious. I'd pay you to handle it for me. Wonderful. You look able-bodied, so this shouldn't be too hard for you. Lately, my pals have made a nasty habit of disappearing randomly. It took forever the first time, but I eventually found them in a cave far to the north. They went to miss him again, and I found them in the same cave. Strange thing is, the cave had some kind of uh, crystal I always just got my candle and left quickly. However, this time it's more serious. When one of my pals went with me, I headed off to the cave. But I got there only to discover that the cave was now crawling with necromancers. They must have something to do with the crystal and my pal. I need you to go to Warm's Edge Cavern, far to the north, past the Horganus Cabin. Send my pal home and put a stop to this once and for all. Him, and Don't worry about escorting him. He knows to stay on the road. I'll be in your debt if you do this for me. I could even give you some of the fine meat I made from my finely raised cattle. See ya. <coughs> Cows. Eliminate the source of the problem. But this is an extremely well done mod. I had a friend. I had a friend. It's no longer. I have a friend that thinks that all mods are just porn. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. He thinks that every mod has some pornographic quality to it, which really confused me because I I don't play anything like that. I play mods like this, which create new worlds, new experiences for me to have. Oh, there's a dragon roost. But first, I gotta go talk to these guys in this place. Keeping out of trouble. We aren't really sure. Its location would obviously suggest that there's way more people built in. But there is little evidence. We've seen no signs of this kind of technology in other Dwemer ruins. So, the skulls and Vizemons that were potentially stuck. But none of the research made it out. So we'd have to start from scratch. Due to the continuous conflict in the land, research in the portal further simply hasn't been something we focused on yet. 
perhaps someday, though. Not really. I know that a growing problem is all over Falska, but uh, no, that couldn't be. What place? Well, it's like it's stuck in the room. 700 years ago, Shore saved our ancestors so that we could flourish in this land, build its knowledge, and tear it apart from the old. We will not help instigate another one. So loyal to the world of elders. If it comes to it, we will fight by Kigang ourselves until victory or Sovereign God takes us. Cool. Yeah. I don't. <sighs> so yeah. It's Memorial Day weekend for me. And I know this is probably not going to be released on Memorial Day weekend. Look. A book. Cool. The piece of crystal. Crystal. Hey, a horse. This will make my commute much faster. Now you can see how sexy I look. Mounted combat's fun. What, what am I writing? Why am I writing all the way back? <sighs> I think after after he saves Falskar, Bob the Battle Mage will retire to a nice little cottage, nice little meadery in Skyrim. Okay. I'm done with you, horse. Thank you. Say, unless he instigates war, he sent men to kidnap and interrogate one of our people. And he is that not a declaration of war? I need you to do something else for me. Bandit, please go ask him if he learned anything helpful while the bandits were there. <sighs> Where the fuck did the horse go?
fine. Get some boot in it. But again, this game is really well done. Well, this mod, I mean. I'm so used to talking about individual games, not just mods. Um, this mod, I mean, it takes the Skyrim engine and it runs perfectly. There's, there's no problem. It runs well on my computer, which is surprising because my computer is a piece of shit. Where the hell am I going? All the way down there. Totally just gonna go over the mountains. Yep, totally just gonna go over the mountains. I'm a lazy fucker, I'm not walking all the way down there, around. Just to entertain myself. I wanna kill an elk. Lightning bolt. There we go. Yeah. yeah. I'm an eco terrorist. Killing elk, not eating any of it. <sighs> it seems like the easiest way to get up the mountainside. I do this too often. There's always too many mountains between where you're going and where, you, where you're at and where you need to go. There we go. Climbing up the mountain. Climbing up the fucking mountain. Climbing up the fucking mountain. Climbing up the fucking mountain. This was a screenshot from the... Oh, that's a tall little mountain. Let's see, Wilson. High above you. Oh shit, I don't think I can climb above the mountain. Whoop. But, <clears throat> again, I love this, I love this mod. Uh, my voice will crack and I'll sound like a child. Um, I really, really enjoy this mod. Um, I was got it a while back and I never really played it because I never really knew how to get to where I was supposed to go to get the quest. And then I figured it out and then I really never played it because that's when I started college. <laughs> so I was like, ah shit, I'm too busy. And then I started doing gaming videos on YouTube on the weekends and I decided if I have enough time for that, I have enough time to do a gaming video of Southscar so that I can play it myself. This is probably going to take me longer to get over the mountain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh? Then I'm over the mountain! I just hope I don't die by, by falling. I don't want to have no misadventures. Wow, this place is really pretty. See all the way across the valley to the other... Yeah, that's not a very good place for a city. <laughs> Kinda like right above this cave. I wonder what's in there. Probably necromancers. Because they're pulling an oblivion and making necromancers evil. I'ma clear it. So why not? Why not kill everything in Bear Clock Cave? Found you. <laughs> Too soon. Oh 
Filled up with the Grand Soldier. I know I'm cheating using the skip. <laughs> I hate picking locks. <laughs> Be much in here. That's really kind of super lame. I was hoping for necromancers. Not a smaller group of bandits. God damn you, bandits. I continue on with my quest after I get sidetracked a lot. Shooting in elk and deer with my lightning bolts. Walking down straight line through the forest, trying to get to where I'm going. Looking at my sexy self in the sunlight, because see I'm high sexy. So I realized after watching the video that I recorded, and I wasn't going to re record it, that uh, it gets really dark at night. <laughs> and you really can't see. The thing about this game is, this could be, well, I mean, almost, if there was more grass, this could be any part of the forest in Skyrim. There's a tower? Over there? Oh, I'm far away am I? For fucking ever away. Oh, I'm still for fucking ever away. I hope I don't die. It's apparently noon today. It's noon when I'm recording this on Saturday. Probably gonna be released on a Tuesday. Because I kind of plan things out. Sort of. When I can remember to, I try to plan things. <coughs> So yeah, I do record on Saturday, only on Saturday. That's why sometimes I don't have any content for you guys, because I don't sometimes I don't have time to record on Saturday, and that makes it difficult. Okay, I'm almost there. Almost there. I can see the the, the marker on the map. Sexy ass armor. Okay. I mean, just just admire that armor. The bear helmet. The eagle patterns. Beautiful. The mace that'll fuck shit up. Oh, that's what I should have named it. I should have named it the mace of fucking shit up. Well, it will always be in my mind the mace of fucking shit up. And rough. And then there was bandits. A lot of them. using the magic, so I might uh, just uh... Fuck, where are you? 
little bitch. I leveled up too. will make my armor more effective. Should I kill you all? She ain't the prettiest craft on the high seas, but she'll take you where you want to go. Do you need something? Thank you for what you did. You are getting ready to make a move. I couldn't let them do anything to Franklin Gale. Please, accept this. It's the least I can do. Actually, yes, yes, I do. They were staying in the Halma Armory, which is northwest. You're looking for them, aren't you? Here, let me mark it on your map for you. All right, if you insist. It's mostly covered in ruins and hollow reminders of this land's dark past. There's the old lighthouse, supposedly haunted, Dragonbone Perch from the times of dragons, and Grimrot Grotto, where pirates used to burn. Until the mountain shifted and it collapsed, sinking the fort above and trapping the men inside. They say the crew would sleep. At last, there's the ruins of Holdra, an ancient Nordic fishing village. Gods know how they survive living on a coast like that. Yeah. Safe travel. Well, because this video has already gone a while. If you guys like this video, share with your friends, and if you didn't, share with your enemies, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.